A first year midfield number 11, Ella Peru. A sophomore defender, number 16, Lily Seal. A junior attack, number 17, Maggie Payton. A junior attack, number 18, Izzy Papalizio. A senior defender, number 20, Emily Peck. A junior defender, number 24, Morgan Rooley. And a first year attack, number 29, Gwendolyn Jamison. The goalkeeper this afternoon for the Raptors is a sophomore wearing number 33, Lexi Blackburn. The head coach of Bard in his second season is Mike Galantic. He's assisted by Madeline Buda and Ali Imperati. Now let's meet the starting lineup for your engineers. A sophomore defender from Middletown, Maryland, number three, Sophia Cedroni. A senior defender from Marcellus, New York, number four, Caitlin Kemp. A freshman defender from Bedford, New Hampshire, number five, Sabrina Tipping. A senior attack from Groton, Massachusetts, number nine, Riley Eldridge. A senior from Loudonville, New York, number 13, Royal Lewis. A junior midfield from Bloomington, Minnesota, number 14, Ella Graff. A junior attack from Wyckoff, New Jersey, number 15, Lauren DeLeo. A freshman defender from Meadowbrook, Pennsylvania, number 16, Audrey Silverman. A freshman in the midfield from Mechanicville, New York, number 20, Emily Speck. A junior defender from Slotesburg, New York, number 21, Kat Kama. A graduate midfielder from Rochester, Massachusetts, number 22, Megan Shea. And protecting the net this afternoon for the engineers is a senior from Great Falls, Virginia, number 35, Jenny Canfield. The head coach of RPI is Leslie Delano, assisted by Eileen Radigan. Fans at this time, we ask that you stand, remove your hats, and face the flag on the south end of the stadium as we play our national anthem. Welcome, lacrosse fans, to Troy, New York, on the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. We've got some excellent Liberty League women's lacrosse action coming your way this afternoon from the Capital Region. Got the home RPI engineers sitting at four and six, three and three in the Liberty League, tied for that fifth spot. 
as we head into the last few weeks of regular season play. Going to do battle today with the Bard College Raptors, Engineers versus Raptors today. Bard coming in at 1-12 overall in the season, 0-8 in the Liberty League Conference. Back-to-back -back games for both teams as they head into the last few weeks of the regular season here. Engineers will get ready to do battle today against Bard and then host Vassar tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. Meanwhile, for Bard coming into today, they'll be getting ready to head out on the road to face tied for first place in the conference, Ithaca College, who's ranked 13th in the country right now nationally. Both teams here getting ready. 2023 saw the Engineers take that victory down in Annandale on Hudson on the campus of Bard. 23 to three. RPI is 10-0 all-time against the Raptors. Last year's game saw senior Gabby Valley put up four goals. Junior attacker Ella Graff with two goals, two assists. And freshman attacker at the time, sophomore attacker this year, Quinn Wallard with three goals to her tally. Engineers looking to put some wins in the left side of that win-loss tally in the Liberty League. Back-to-back -back games this weekend. Next Wednesday home draw against Union College for the rivalry matchup and then have Senior Day next weekend. So looking forward to bringing in some action-packed women's lacrosse Liberty League action over the next few days here, folks. Megan Shea setting up herself to do battle here at the draw. Shea, the engine of this engineer's Offense, all-time leading goal scorer. She wins it straight up to herself against Maggie Payton, the Saratoga Springs native. And then the engineers will look to set up their offense, get working here as we get some Liberty League women's lacrosse action here underway. Engineers working the ball across the top of the 12 here. Valley down the wings to DeLeo. DeLeo being pressured on the wing by graduate captain Paige Gregg. DeLeo deterred by Gregg now to Royal Lewis. Lewis rolling. Found some tough defense there. Now Valley up at the left side. She pumps for shooting space. Catches the freshman Emerson Emery in shooting space. So she'll get up onto the second inside hash from the left side here for a free position shot. Valley, the senior midfielder, scores! Senior midfielder Gabby Valley gets us going here for the Engineers' first goal of the day, 14-15 on the clock. The senior out of Orlando, Florida, as I mentioned earlier, had four goals against the Raptors last year, and she gets the scoring started this afternoon. Nice low and away stick side shot off the free position. Teammates celebrating, looking to get a couple more here today. Engineer goal scored by number one, Gabby Valley. Valley, one of those offensive midfielders, able to pump for shooting space, stuck it low corner here as Peyton and Meg Shea getting ready for the second draw of this contest. Riley Eldridge and Lauren DeLeo for the engineers on the circle. And that's going to be a violation against Bard. Eldridge will pick the ball up with a full head of steam. Looking to get some early offense here. Heads it up to Speck. Speck protecting against Emery. Now down low, working it through. Audrey Silverman. Silverman and Royal Lewis working below GLE here. Sends it over to Graf. Graf up top to Valley. Valley back over to DeLeo. DeLeo hits a streaking Silverman from behind. Couldn't quite handle it, and Raptors goalie Lexi Blackburn will scoop this one up. Number 33 looking for an outlet. Spard will look to see if they can clear and get into the Engineers' defensive end of the field for their first offensive opportunity. Gloria Tucker, the Albany New York native with a nice ground ball in between the 30s here. Being defended very well by number four senior defender out of Marcellus, New York, Caitlin Kemp. Kemp and Lewis... Really penning Tucker in to the corner there. Finds Papalizio. Izzy Papalizio from Croton Harmon High School is the leading scorer for this Raptors attack. Back to Blackburn. Blackburn now out to the left side here. 
Scooped up, headed up field. Here is Lily Seal. Seal loses it to Loyal Lewis. Lewis to Silverman. Peck knocked that ball down. And the engineer's quick, fast break opportunity is for naught as Blackburn outlets it to Tucker. Tucker fouled on the play by Kemp. Pushes it up to Paige Gregg. Gregg moving it. Finds Embry. And Embry will help the, the Raptors step it into the Engineers' defensive zone for their first offensive opportunity of the day. Meg Shea with a great check in the double there. Her and Kira Abdul said, nice job doubling Embry. Engineers a little trouble clearing here as Greg, 50-50 ball. Ball's kicking around on the turf there. Scooped by Tucker. She's able to withstand some pressure. Swings it low to Payton. Maggie Payton, number 17. Eight goals so far in Liberty League Conference play. She's one of the leading goal scorers of this Raptors offense. We'll swing it back to Papalizio. Papalizio and Peyton working the low attack from behind at X for this Raptors offense. Now moving it up top to Embry and Morgan Rule. Over to Paige Gregg. Gregg looking to find some options here as this engineer's defense is starting to slowly creep out and look to see if they can force a mistake. Rule now being guarded, 1v1 up top by Kemp. Greg looks to feed the middle, picked out of the air by Eldridge. Riley Eldridge now upfield to Roya Lewis. Lewis pushing the break here. 4v4 opportunity, no fast break. Hits a DeLeo. DeLeo, nice hitch and go. Switches back and scores. Second goal of the day for the Engineers by Lauren DeLeo. 11-17 on the clock as the officials check the stick. Great transition from defense to offense there. Total team effort by this Engineers team. See DeLeo, nice little hitch and go. Beats the slide and the double. Puts it high off stick side with some nice stick handling over the top of Blackburn. That RPI score came from number 15, Lauren DeLeo. As DeLeo's 94th career point. 15th place all time in the RPI women's lacrosse record books. Peyton and Shea here looking to see who can control this draw as we've got an early 2-0 RPI lead. Eldridge and DeLeo working off of Shea's front and back. Eldridge knocks this one right out of the air for a draw control and is headed upfield with a full head of steam. Greg heads off any fast break opportunity, sends it off to Graft as Eldridge. Eldridge now. Subbing back onto the defensive side of the field as Gabby Valley will step in, and this engineer's attack will look to swing the ball and set up into their offensive set. Ball shifting across here. Graf up top to Valley. Shea cuts across the eight-meter arc. DeLeo now at the ball, looking to feed Silverman from the low left pipe. Couldn't quite connect, and that ball scooped up by the Raptors goaltender. Lexi Blackburn, who long clearing outlet, couldn't quite handle it on the sideline there, so that'll be engineer ball right at the barred bench. Eldridge facing pressure here in the double by Papalizio, and Peyton swings it back over to Kat Kama. Kama, one of the leading uh, junior defenders for this engineer's defense, moves it to Kemp and Speck, and now the... Engineers will look to set up. Shea looking to feed the middle. Morgan Rule knocked that ball down inside the barred middle of the eight there, but Graf was the one that was able to come out with the 50-50 ball. Engineers able to quickly cover up for that turnover, able to cause one, get that ground ball right back for the offense. Ball swinging across the top here. Shea will tuck in. Valley with a nice split dot. She looks to feed back across. Paige Gregg with some nice defensive help. Morgan Rule on the turf looking to get that ball away. It came out to DeLeo who looks to settle this offense in. Looking for their third tally of the day. Silverman will drive from X and she'll stick one. Audrey Silverman up high at 927 in the first quarter here for the Engineers' third goal of the day. Silverman coming off a great Fourth quarter against the University of Rochester Yellow Jackets. She turns the corner here. Roya Lewis wraps around. 
Silverman just got past her defender and stuck one over Blackburn's shoulders. We've got a timeout on the field. 3 nothing Engineers, 927 so far left in the first quarter. As I mentioned, RPI coming off a 13-11 win at the University of Rochester. Game was tight through the third quarter, tied 9-9. RPI went on a three-goal run to start that fourth quarter, led by two goals from Audrey Silverman and one from Lauren DeLeo to open that fourth quarter. Silverman had three goal, three of her four goals in that fourth quarter. Freshman from Abington, Pennsylvania, really making her presence known here in conference play. Barred with the timeout, as you see Coach Mike Galantich in his second season trying to rally his team here facing a th early three goal deficit Bard is coming off of a 25 to 1 defeat at home facing off against number two William Smith always a tough task they will have the next toughest team typically in the Liberty League tomorrow as they head to Ithaca College who is ranked 13th in the country in that William Smith game they were led by uh, freshman first-year attacker Gwendolyn Jamison from Averill Park, New York. She had a goal. Izzy Papalizio, the Raptors' leading point scorer on the season with an assist. Big numbers for the Engineers in that crucial Liberty League win against University of Rochester this past Sunday. Lauren DeLeo led the way. Two goals, two assists, three draw controls. And as I mentioned, Audrey Silverman, four goals, three of those coming in that critical fourth quarter. Rounding out the scoring for the Engineers, Ella Graff, two goals, one assist. Freshman Emily Peck, two goals, one assist. And Mia Bangomeyer, one goal, two assist. Meg Shea, the engine of this Engineers team, two goals and 11 draw controls. And on the defensive end, freshman defender Sabrina tipping three ground balls, three cost turnovers, along with El Riley Eldridge's three ground balls, three draw controls, led the way as they were able to secure a crucial victory as teams are jockeying for position in the Liberty playoffs that will start in about two weeks here, folks. Timeout's over. 9.27 left in the first quarter here. Shea, Peyton ready to draw here. Ball's kicking around. Dr Eldridge had a steam, ran right through that one for another draw control. She'll find Ella Graff to the right wing. Graff looking to feed the middle. We'll decide against it and move it through X now. Silverman now to DeLeo. DeLeo up top to Megan Shea. Shea now over to Ella Graff. Graff and Shea, the two offensive that leaders for this engineer's team. By number 16, Audrey Silverman. Silverman, the freshman looking to draw. Valley steps in. She'll get the shooting space call again on Embry. And senior midfielder Gabby Valley will be on the line here. First inside hash from the left with an opportunity. Valley with a tremendous push off the line. She'll shoot and score. And that will count. Tiptoe on the crease there, making sure she didn't step in. And Gabby Valley buries her second goal of the game. The Engineers fourth off the free position line. Great push off the line. She looked it off and beat Blackburn to the high stick side. And then just tiptoeing around there to make sure she didn't fall in the crease. Making sure it counts. She's got two goals so far of the Engineers' four to start this first quarter. Well on her way to matching her output last year where she scored four down in Annandale. Shea Payton again ready to draw here. Shea with her 203rd draw control in the Rochester game. Past 200 all-time for her career. We've got a bit of movement here. That one will go against Shea, unfortunately, as Peyton will scoop this one up, looking to see if the Raptors can step it in and get some offense going here, down 4 nothing. Speck knocked that one out of the air. Great ground ball up off the carpet. She's got a head of steam. She's looking to push in transition. Bard able to rally the troops, get inside here, so Speck will settle in. Freshman product out of local Shenandoah High School. She's been able to have quite some success here in her first season in Troy. Eight goals and two, two assists, including 16 draw controls. She's had an impactful start to her career here as an engineer. 
Graf, Shea, and Valley working up top as DeLeo. Roya, Lewis, and Silverman kind of working low, and they feed inside. Valley, great job by Emerson. Emery there covered up on a nice feed. She'll swing it back to Graf. Graf looks to feed to Shea. Shea pumping, looking for shooting space, and they'll get the back defender call on that one. Megan Shea, two, second inside hash here from the left. Shea explodes off the line, tucks her stick, wraps that around Blackburn, and we've got their engineer's fifth goal of the day. <laughs> Megan Shea. First all time in RPI women's lacrosse history. That's her 140th goal in her career, as you see here, explodes off the line. Gets the goalie to step out of her crease a little bit too far and is able to take one more extra step to greatness. Five nothing engineer lead here, 743 into the first quarter. The prior engineer goal was once again scored. Shea, by one of the preeminent players here for this historic RPI women's lacrosse program, as I mentioned. Past 200 career draw controls at Rochester. Hit 54 ground balls, our second all-time in RPI career record books. And her 140th goal just now there is first all-time, 26 ahead of second place. Officials will look to sort this one out as Shea and Peyton both have to reset the ball here. Eldridge and DeLeo working with Shea. Paige, Greg, and Emerson Embry the first year working with Peyton. And Embry will be out in the space. Shea chops that one right out of her stick, gets the ground ball, soaks some contact. And DeLeo had a fast break there, but I think they're going to get Embry. They will. The officials will stop play here. They're going to get Embry for a card, push on the back there. Shea was able to chop that one down, scoop the ground ball, and push it upfield quickly. Embry with a little bit of contact as Shea hit the turf. That'll be a player-up opportunity for this engineer's team. Jaleel down to Graf now to Royal Lewis. Engineers will look to see if they can find the open player here now with their player up opportunity. So far, high up above that 12 meter arc, looking to find some cutters, cutting and replacing through the middle of that eight meter arc. Lewis will work to Shea. Shea thought about feeding it to Silverman, but Morgan Rule covered that one up quickly. Graf now from left to right back to Shea. Shea feeds to the lower left pipe and scores is Silverman. Extra player offense was working full efficiency there for the engineers as their sixth goal of the day is a player up. 7.01 left here in the first quarter. Audrey Silverman, her second on the day. As you see here, player up opportunity, left someone open as the Raptors were in a zone. Player down, defense. Shea just was able to slide that one in from top center to, this, to the cutting Silverman from that low left pipe area. Silverman turned. Had a lot of white to shoot at. Shea back on the draw circle, or at the draw line here. Eldridge to Leo. Papalizio now up there with Greg for the Raptors, and that one went right to Eldridge. Eldridge up the field to DeLeo. DeLeo will look and look and decide to swing this one low to Ella Graf. As the, rap, as the engineers get some subs onto the field here. Quinn Wallard now up to Speck. Speck moving it over to Valley. Shea and Graf exchanging some space here as Ella Graf, the lefty attacker, will move it up top to Speck. Speck top center of the 12 here. Back over to Graf. Graf looking to feed as we've got a Great opportunity. She charges in and scores. Number 14, Ella Graf with her first tally of the day. Engineers seventh. 618 here in the first quarter. That's Ella Graf's 112th career point. 
currently eighth all-time in RPI history. So we take a look at the replay here, folks. Nice little hitch and go dodge. Able to find some space. Good show of the hands. Was able to reload and beat Blackburn up high for her first tally of the day. Ella Graff, junior attacker out of Bloomington, Minnesota. One of the preeminent offensive players here for this engineers team over the course of her three seasons. Speck now on the circle against Paige Gregg for the Raptors. Ball battled around and who, who, who would have known it? Eldridge again with the draw control. Senior defender LD making her presence known, fighting for every possession so far as the defender. Senior defender out of Groton, Mass, has been really impactful, stepping into a role of being one of the players on the circle that has helped the engineers play some make it take it offense so far this season. Valley now working up top. Kaylee Schaefer Hood now in the game for the Engineers. Along with Quinn Wallard at the attack as she feeds inside to DeLeo. Graf to DeLeo there. DeLeo just a bit wide. Engineers back that one up. Wallard and Speck and Silverman were below GLE at that point. First to the ball, so the Engineers will retain possession. 35 seconds on the shot clock here. Schaefer Hood will work to Valley. Valley a hitch and go. Rule equal to the task. Forces her to move it. Ball's down to Graf. Graf couldn't quite handle it. Now she's regained possession. Swings it to Valley. Valley looking for some cutters from that left to right side. Finds DeLeo. DeLeo pumps. Looking. Looking. Gets around the edge. Bounce shot. Save. Blackburn was able to swallow that one up as DeLeo had a head of steam. Couldn't quite slide it past her. Blackburn now up to Papalizio. Papalizio facing some pressure of this engineer's ride. Trying to find some open white players for this Bard Raptors team. Some open white jerseys. She finds Gloria Tucker. Tucker under duress. Caitlin Kemp all over her hip. We'll have to retreat and send this one back in to Gwyn Downey. Downey, the sophomore defender out of Framingham Mass, now sends it upfield. Couldn't quite handle it was Rule. Eldridge with the ground ball. Pushes it ahead. Silverman looking to take advantage here. 3v3 opportunity. Raptors do a great job swallowing that one up. Emily Peck denying the fast break opportunity. Balls over to Ella Graff on the left, right wing now. Engineers offense now settling in. Seven goal leads here. Looking to run some different sets and plays. So they've changed some personnel in and out. Ball fed inside, Graf to Schaefer Hood, and Paige Gregg right there, but unfortunately for her, the officials saw a little bit of con too much contact. Schaefer Hood, sophomore midfielder out of State College, Pennsylvania, charges in and scores! Kaylee Schaefer Hood with the goal. Her first of the season, folks, 345 left here in the first quarter. And she buries the free position shot. Take a look at the re replay here, folks. Just able to get that one past Lexi Blackburn, the goalie in net, sophomore goaltender out of the Sayers School in Lexington, K K Kentucky. For the engineer's eighth goal of the day. Speck, Eldridge, and DeLeo for the engineers at up at the draw area, part of this draw unit that's been very impactful for the engineers and their success this season. Greg taking it for the Raptors with Embry on her backside, and forward is Maggie Payton, number 17. Speck straight up in the air to herself. She wins it, gets it knocked out by Payton. But DeLeo's right there for the, the ground ball. Grabs that draw control, sends it up to Quinn Wallard. Wallard now will settle this one in. Schaefer Hood, Speck, 
Now down to the lefty attacker, Ella Graf. Graf to Silverman. Silverman looking to feed some cutters from below GLE here. She starts to charge up with that righty cross, looking to see if she can feed across. Valley, some nice dodging, weaving her way through traffic, and she'll get on the line for her third free position opportunity of the day. The explosive, nimble dodger, the, so, the so, senior midfielder out of Orlando, Florida, drew, uh, drew some contact there on her way to the crease. She pushes off here on the free position, just a bit high, but that goes right into the stick of Silverman. Silverman feeds back inside to Speck. Speck can't find an opportunity. She'll retreat. Ball will be back out with DeLeo. DeLeo now swings it to Schaefer Hood. Kaylee over to Audrey. Odds pressing in, finds a little slip cut, shot, score, Quinn Wallard. Ninth goal of the day for the Engineers. Silverman to Wallard, that Pennsylvania connection paying off there for the Engineers. So you see here, Silverman up off the wing, find that little slip cut by Quinn Wallard, sophomore attacker out of the Agnes Irwin School. Strike by number 10, Quinn Wallard. Her fourth goal of the season. With the assist, number 18, Lana McCarthy. Nine goals so far here in the first stanza for the Engineers. Some adjustments to the draw unit as freshman defender number five, Sabrina Tipping, will head up here. Number 19, junior midfielder out of Swampscott, Massachusetts. Molly McDonald will take the draw against... Greg for the Raptors. Coach Delano and Coach Radigan getting some different players in different situations here in conference action late into April. We're going to get a violation against McDonald. That'll be Raptors ball. Embry will pick it up, pushing it ahead quickly. Embry, the first-year player out of the Ethel Walker School in Connecticut. We'll do a loop around through the 12 meter arc and send it over to Paige Gregg. Gregg up to Tucker. Gloria Tucker from Albany High swings it over. Went Jameson. Jameson to rule, rule to Peyton. Peyton now looking to see if she can roll the crease against Riley Eldridge. Eldridge holding off Peyton. Now there's a double coming. McDonald. And Eldridge with the double there. Peyton looked to try to split it and drew a foul. So we'll get a first opportunity off the line here for Maggie Peyton, junior attack midfielder out of the Vermont Academy. And that's actually going to be a card against Riley Eldridge. So not just a foul in the critical scoring area, but that'll be two minutes that Bard will be up. Peyton, that first inside hash here on the left side. Righty junior attack slash midfielder will look to get her feet set. She steps in, shoots and scores! Raptors will get one back on the board there. Maggie Peyton pushes off the, the free position line and it's nine to one. With 2.03 left here in the first quarter. See Peyton switching her feet up, is able to push off quickly, two step. Put that one low past senior goaltender Jenny Canfield. Excuse me, that's Juliana Lucas in net. Apologies on that one, folks. Junior goalie out of Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Eldridge will be out of the box here now, folks. Back on to the draw circle as that yellow card will expire with the Raptors' goal. Tipping Eldridge on either side of the draw circle here. McDonald back out to take it. She pushes it out to Tipping. Tipping handling the pressure from Embry will step it into the offensive 30. Quinn Wallard now pressing this left side. Stepping in, shoots and scores about a step inside the eight meter arc. Quinn Wallard, her second on the day. One forty-nine left in the first quarter. Ra Raptors with a goal on the board. Engineers with 10 of their own. 
And the tenth one scored. Quinn Wallard here charging in off that left side. About a step inside the eight meter arc here was able to power that one past Blackburn. That previous goal by Bard was scored by number 17, Maggie Payton. Wallard with two goals here early in this contest. Puts her at five on the season for the sophomore attacker out of the Agnes Irwin School in PA. McDonald working with tipping. And Eldridge, Embry though, draw control through traffic. She's headed off by Kat Kama. Great job by the junior defender there to deny the fast break opportunity. Embry feeds inside to Papalizio. Papalizio, the Raptors leading scorer, dangerous in front of the net. Wasn't quite able to handle it. She's backing out now, looking for an opportunity to drive and or feed. She comes to the left side, moves it to Embry. Embry being defended by Kep, shoots over the top. Lucas got a piece of that one. Shot clock will reset. Eldridge will push this one back in for Lucas. And Lucas now looking for a menu of options. Long clear up the field to Wallard. That was about a 30, 40 yard clear, folks. Great job by Juliana Lucas to head the ball up the field with some steam on that one. Kaylee Schaefer-Hood now sends it over to Valley. Valley swinging it. Working to get this engineer's offense set up here as we're about 42, 43 seconds left here in the first quarter. Ball up top again to the explosive Dodger, Gabby Valley. A lot of space here. She's able to swing right by her defender's shot. And that's a save by Blackburn. Blackburn with 30 seconds left on the clock up the field to Papalizio. She can't handle it, so Quinn Wallard scoops it back up, pushes it into the center here. Kaylee Schaefer-Hood settles it in, and we've got a violation on Bard here. I believe it's three seconds. So Schaefer-Hood with the ball right at the top of the 12 here, 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Sends it over to Valley. Valley pumping, looking to see if she can slide inside. She'll get, yes, she will. She'll get Peck into shooting space there. Excuse me, that'll be on Tucker. Gloria Tucker, who drew the shooting space. Valley looking for her third goal of the day off the free position mark. 8.07 left, steps in, misses wide. Morgan Rule with a heads up play there. Was able to steal that possession back, beat the engineers to the end line, and that's how the quarter will end, folks. 10 to 1. Engineers with an opportunity to put one or two on the board late there. Still with a strong first quarter over the Bard College Raptors. We'll take a look at some of the scoring here. Scoring early and often, you see Quinn Wallard's goal coming off that left side, buries it, throws the stick down with some confidence knowing that she was able to beat Blackburn. Yep. Yep. 10-1 folks. We'll take a quick break here and be back for some second quarter action. I don't know, keep it busy. I went straight from my job to here. So that's it's a good thing. It's good to have a stadium right next to my workplace. <laughs> I know. You were in the locker room or something. You did it in December. I guess I missed uh, Royal playing, so I'll push the good thing. I can't really speak in the spring. I know we did it on March. I hope you got all the way good. There's another game tomorrow. You guys gonna be back here tomorrow? Oh yeah, okay. Oh uh, okay, all right. Well then maybe I'll catch you the next week. The job offer is the summer way that she's interviewing for, so, uh, for the, so we'll see how that goes. But she, like, you know, it might be the county, it might be Albany County. Uh, 
uh, this is where someone wanted to wipe her and throw other things and decided to tell over the apply, so that's what she's doing. So she, she made the one, she did the one interview and then they, inter they brought her back to get another interview. They're going to have another interview, so that's a two, second interview should be good. Can't go wrong with that. that sounds, sounds pretty good, so that's what she's up to. So, Yeah, well, yeah, they got a list. She works for the state, as you know, so she's a state worker right now, so she's doing really well, moving up the ladder there, too. So, she's got some options. Welcome back to ECAF Stadium here, folks, for the second quarter of some Friday afternoon Liberty League women's lacrosse action. Engineers are up 10 to 1 on the Bard College Raptors. First quarter scoring was all engineers as they were able to get seven different scorers up on the board, led by senior midfielder Gabby Valley, sophomore attacker Quinn Wallard, and freshman attacker Audrey Silverman, who each have two goals to their name. Molly McDonald will be taking the draw here against senior, excuse me, grad student, uh, defensive midfielder slash defender Paige Gregg out of Newton, Pennsylvania. Riley Eldridge and Sabrina Tipping will be working with her on the circle. And for the Raptors working with Greg will be freshman Emerson Embry, who had that one right out of the air, trying to corral it, not able to. The ball's kicked out, and who would you know it? It's Riley Eldridge again with the ball off the draw control. Engineers on offense now swinging it down low. Alana McCarthy looks to settle this offense in. Sophomore attacker out of New Hartford, New York, number 18. S driving through X will swing this one back over to Silverman. Silverman rolling the crease, looking for McCarthy. Pass was a little too hot to handle. Morgan Rule with the ground ball there inside the critical scoring area. She'll swing it to Blackburn. Blackburn looks to settle this one down, trying to find a white jersey, clear this one out of her end. Pass up field. Tipping got a piece of Paige Gregg's stick. Cedroni scooped that one up off the carpet. She's got a head of steam. Steps it in over to the 30, and the engineers are back in the attack. Cedroni over. Swinging it up top here. Ava Gilderon looking to feed inside there. A little too tough to handle for Kate McFeely. Colony Central High School grad in her first year up on the hill in Troy, New York. Freshman midfielder. Ball working on the left side of this engineer's offense now. Back up top to Quinn Wallard. Wallard over to Kaylee Schaefer-Hood. Kaylee swings it to Ava Gilderon. Freshman mid midi slash defender. Tried to send that one well to Silver when it's gonna go out of bounds. Raptors ball here off the restart. Bard looking to see if they can clear here, get some offense going at the opposite end. Got a light breeze coming from south to north here. Great spring day for some lacrosse. A little cloudy, but folks got the lights on for us here on some Friday night lights. Women's lacrosse action, folks, as Bard now has cleared it successfully into their offensive end. Papalizio and Rule looking to settle this one in with Jamison. See if they can find an opportunity to put one on net. Tucker being defended well by Gabby Valley. Drew some contact. So Tucker will get the ball to restart here. Moving it to Greg. Paige Greg. Over to Morgan Rule. Rule to Jamison. Bard looking to see if they can drive up off these wings here. Jamison with a long shot. Swallowed up by Juliana Lucas. Great save there by the junior goalkeeper, Hopkinton, Massachusetts grad. A little too tough to handle on the outlet there for Cedroni, so the Raptors will retain possession. Pushing it up to Jamison. Jamison now settling it in, looking for Papalizio. Papalizio, Raptors leading scorer. She's got two goals and eight assists in Liberty League play. Feeds it into Jamison. Jamison scores. We're gonna get we're gonna get the officials weaving this one off. And that's gonna be yellow card, dangerous propel, dangerous shot on number 29. Gwendolyn Jamison, the first year attacker out of Averill Park there, 
didn't have a clear lane to shoot as she wrapped around X. Yeah, and Kemp felt that one, soaked it right on her knuckle. Kemp was able to close some space, and Jamison's follow-through got her on the hand. So that'll be a two-minute yellow card against the Raptors. Lucas will start with this ball. Looking to outlet. Finds a streaking engineer player. Ball settled in here by Schaefer Hood. Now over to Kate McFeely. Rap Raptors looking to see if they can swallow this one up. Schaefer Hood can't handle that one, but she's able to push it back out to McFeely. McFeely to Silverman. Bard playing a player down here to see the engineers. We'll see if they can find the open cutter. Silverman across the top. A little too tough to handle there, but Molly McDonald is right on the spot for that one. Retains possession, but that next pass is a little too much mustard on it. So the Raptors will be able to successfully defend the player up opportunity on the first go around here. As Gwynn Downey scoops this one up, getting ready for the restart on the far sideline there, folks. We'll move it over to Blackburn. Blackburn pushing it around her crease now, up the field. Finds an open player. Great job handling that ball out of the air. Ella Peralt. Ball taken back by the engineers here. Kaylee Schaefer Hood. Coming down the right side, looking to see if she can feed into the eight for a cutter. She'll do so. Finds McDonald. McDonald soaks some contact and scores. Molly McDonald, the junior midfielder out of Swamp Scott, Massachusetts, with a great cut. Switched to the from right to left and buried that one. So you see, soaks some contact from Rule. Smart heads up lacrosse play, switching hands to improve her shooting angle and beat Blackburn with a low bouncer. Molly McDonald, great opportunity there. She gets her first goal on the season, and the Engineers get their 11th of the day. Eleven to one here, folks. Nine thirty-three left in the first half. Molly McDonald with her first goal on the season. Puts the engineers up 10 as Greg and McDonald will look to do battle at the draw line here. McDonald will push it out to her front right. Right to, who do you know it? Riley Eldridge. Always all over the carpet on these draw controls, able to find that ball off the ground and get it up into her cross. Ball being tipped around a little bit. Was actually checked out a Kemp stick right into McDonald's. McDonald will settle this one in, getting it low to Kate McFeely. McFeely now to Silverman. Silverman took a look to see if she's going to feed to the middle there, decided to move it up top. McDonald now setting up above the 12 with freshman midfielder from Mich uh, White Lake, Michigan, Ava Gilderone. Gilderone looking to see if she can get a little split dodge action. Great. Paige Gregg took it away from her. Gregg got fouled on the redefend by Wallard and Silverman. She'll scoop it up on the restart. Finds Papalizio, Papalizio finds Embry. Embry's able to tuck it, steps it in to the engineer's defensive zone. So successful clear by the Raptors there off some great individual defense by Paige Gregg. Peyton, the lone goal scorer so far on the day for the Raptors. We'll look to see if she can find her second opportunity to put one in the back of the net. Little three-person action here as she wheels around. Papalizio looking to see if she can beat Valley 1v1. Isn't able to, but Peyton's able to step around the corner and puts one up high. Raptors' second goal of the day. Her second goal of the day. Papalizio to Peyton. Two of the leading scorers for this Raptors team as they beat the Engineers for their second tally on the day. See Papalizio being defended well by Valley. And Peyton was able to just get a step around Eldridge, extend her hands, and was able to beat Juliana Lucas. You see here, folks, catches it, turns. Eldridge right on her hip, but Peyton was able to extend her hands, get that stick over the top and around Eldridge. 
sliding that ball past Lucas for her second tally of the day. McDonald at Greg. Battling it out here on the draw again. Quinn Wallard up on the circle with Sabrina tipping. Peyton and tipping 50-50 ball. Tipping wins that battle, scoops it up quickly, sends it back to Bethy Spizzo. Spizzo to Cedroni. Cedroni now being defended well. Is able to sprint past Gloria Tucker. Sophia Cedroni now finding a little bit more resistance from Papalizio. Finally found some extra space to the stadium sideline here. And the engineer is successfully clear. We're going to get a green card coming up here. Contact on Cedroni will afford the engineers a player up opportunity. McFeely's standing, waiting for the officials to sort out the card here. It's going to be a green card. New rule in women's lacrosse this year at the collegiate level between the 30s. Any contacted foul that doesn't rise to the level of a red or yellow card. It's a one-minute releasable player-up opportunity via a green card. Engineers with some quick stick passing. Found Schaefer Hood in the middle there. She got chopped on the hand, so that's going to be a free position opportunity for the engineers. Kaylee Schaefer Hood off the center hash. She bounces that one past Blackburn for her first goal on the season. Kaylee Schaefer Hood. Taking advantage off the free position arc there. Sophomore midfielder out of State College. Great push off. Low off stick bouncer beats Blackburn. Her first goal on the season. Engineers 12th on the day. And we've got a 12-2 game here, folks, as we tick under seven minutes left in the first half. Shaver Hood, a mechanical engineering major. While well, there's a Hall of Fame student athlete at Sewanee down in Tennessee. Greg and McDonald again at the draw line. Tipping Wallard working for the engineers off to the diagonals on the draw circle. It's like Peyton in Embry working with Greg here. Peyton pushes off, extending her hands. Great check by McDonald allows Sabrina tipping to run right in, scoop that ball up. She heads it up to the opposite side, switching fields to Kemp. Kemp, the senior defender out of Marcellus, New York, finds McFeely, and that's a successful clear for the engineers off the draw control. Ball swinging through X here. Silverman quarterbacking this offense from below GLE. Sends Cedroni through on a cut, looking to feed. Doesn't find anybody. Now finds her own space. Shot goes in, Blackburn straight on, mashes stick for stick, and now she's got a save to her tally. Pushes it to the stadium side, up the field here. Emily Peck gets the ball knocked out of her stick, but that's going to be a stoppage in play. Contact on the play is going to draw a green card against Quinn Wallard. Emily Peck. Senior defender from East Stroudsburg, PA, will have the ball here on the restart. Blackburn with a great save in the back of the net there. Sparked this transition opportunity for the Raptors. There'll be a player up for the next 60 seconds unless they score. Papalizio with the ball right off the restart. Working some space, finds Ella. Ella Peru swings it over to Papalizio. Papalizio being defended well by Kate McFeely. And Audrey Silverman one-handed that ball out of the air. McFeely with some pressure forced a, a loose pass. And that one went right into the stick of Audrey Silverman. 12-2, about under 50, about 450 left here, excuse me, in the first half. Engineers leave. They're down a player for a couple more seconds. Fed into the middle there. Rule. Great job getting her stick in. 
Soak some contact from Gilderon, who is the party that was trying to catch that feed. So the Raptors will get the ball back in their defensive end. And we've got a timeout on the field. 4.32 left here in the first half. Engineers up 12-2. Bard will have the ball right around their 10-yard line in their defensive end on the restart. In other RPI sports action so far here today, folks, we've got some great action happening across campus here in Troy, New York. Women's softball team currently in the bottom of the third against the visiting Rochester Institute of Technology Tigers, up 3-0. Some great home action for you here this weekend. Mentioning again, Women's lacrosse will be back out on the field tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. for their lacrosse out cancer game against Vassar. Another Liberty League conference game. Cause is special to the team, supporting lacrosse out cancer and their team impact player, Kaylee. Pediatric Cancer Research Foundation and RPI Lacrosse have joined forces to lacrosse out cancer. Every member of their team has completed 47... 100-yard sprints this spring in honor of the 47 children who are diagnosed each day with cancer in the U.S. The team is on a mission to raise over $1,222. This comes down to about 47 per athlete on the team. If you're interested in supporting the Lacrosse Out Cancer campaign, please reach out through RPI Athletics to find the QR code to donate. Or if you're in the town or in the area tomorrow, Please scan that QR code at the bottom of the flyers in and around ECAV Stadium to donate. Appreciate everybody's support on that. Love that our engineers, student athletes are so philanthropic and engaged across the area. Starting to get a little darker here in Troy, New York, in the capital region. It's got a little bit of rain moving in here. Four third two left here in the first half. Engineers with a 10 goal lead, 12-2 up over the Raptors. Last year's action, Engineers had 13 different goal scorers led by Gabby Valley who had four goals. She's got two on the day here in 2024's matchup. Two goals for the Raptors is on the shoulders of Maggie Payton. Puts her at 10 goals on the season within the Liberty League and 13 overall on the season. Leading scorer for the Raptors is Epopolizio. Came into the game with 14 goals, 18 assists on the season as we'll get restarted here. Long pass by Blackbird looking to find Payton. Ball comes up a little too tall. Got a collision at the opposite end there. As Tipping picked it up and ran into a barred player. A little bit of incidental contact. We'll get started on a quick restart here. Cat Camo will scoop this one up. Number 21, junior defender out of Suffern High School. We'll look to push this ball up the field and we'll do so with ease as she finds Silverman over the 30. Coming out of the timeout, Raptors able to successfully cause a turnover, get that ground ball and clear it back up themselves. Schaefer Hood moving off the right side here under pressure. We'll move it through X. Silverman now looking to feed into the middle of that critical scoring area, seeing if she can find an open player. Now up above the eight meter arc, 1v1 defense. It's able to find Gilderon. Gilderon, the nice little pump for shooting space, wasn't able to draw it. McDonald looking to do so as well. Officials slow with the whistle there. Silverman steps in, draws a foul, passes over, shot, score! Had the slow flag, on, slow flag on the contact, did Audrey Silverman. She swung it across the top of the eight, found her teammate. And the Engineers with their 13th goal of the game here. So you see Silverman drawn some contact, found the open player was McDonald. McDonald, her second lefty goal of the game with that off stick side bouncer. Yeah, no. 
Two goals on the day for Molly McDonald, junior midfielder out of Swampscott, Massachusetts. And we've got a 13-2 lead here as the rain's coming down a little bit heavier and harder. About 2.23 left here in the first quarter as some fans look to take refuge. Some others look to get their rain gear on. Ava Gilderon with her first draw of the game going up against Greg. Ball will be kicked out. She'll win that loose ball. Draw, draw, draw control. Ball will be sent over to McFeely. McFeely is able to run past some defensive effort by Bard to step it in. Sends in to Silverman. Silverman slipping past her defender. Turns from X and scores. Audrey Silverman with the heads up play there. Lost her defender on the back cut. No help came as she wrapped the crease. And Silverman finds her third goal of the day. Backburn got a piece of that one, but was just not enough of it as that ball hit some turf and rolled right over the white line for Silverman's third and the Engineers' 14th of the half. Closing in on Halftime here, folks, 14 to two, RPI up on Bard College. Paige Gregg with Embry and Peyton. Wallard and tipping for the Engineers with Gilderone and that will be run right out to and controlled by Maggie Peyton. Under a minute left here, Peyton pumps He's looking to feed Greg. Steps in, roll dodge, pumped out of the air. What a save by Juliana Lucas. Match stick for stick. She punched that one straight up into the sky. Engineers fouled on the 50-50 ground ball. So with about 30 seconds left here, Tipping will have it at the top of the eight meter arc. Swings it out to Spizzo on the left side. When the Engineers will push here with 20 seconds left, they clear it with ease. Wallard stepping in. Looks, feeds across the top. Greg knocks that one down. Ball kicks around. Waller will have some space here to gather it. Under 10 seconds here, we'll see if the engineers will go to the cage. And it's going to be Schaefer Hood who soaks some contact. Right at the top of the 12 there. Officials doing some consulting. Not enough contact there to warrant a card, so we'll have the clock expire. Headed to halftime here, folks, with a 14-2 lead. Will Coach Delano and Coach Radigan's Engineers women's lacrosse team. 14-2 through two quarters. Engineers in it with a commanding lead, spreading the offensive wealth around. A couple different goal scorers on the day here as you see some action. Molly McDonald able to press in with a low bouncer, switching right to left through traffic and contact. The Raptors here able to get one back. Papalizio, one of the best feeders on this team, found Peyton. Peyton turned the corner, beat Lucas High off stick. Peyton's got both goals on the day, does Maggie Peyton for this Bard College team. And you see that one's able to throw the stick down with some hype and enthusiasm. Schaefer Hood off the line with her first goal of the season, straight down Hoosick Street with a nice crafty bounce shot off stick side. And then Silverman to McDonald. Again, bouncer off stick side. Nice draw and dump opportunity there. And great finish by the junior midfielder. And then Silverman, again, this time curling from X. Put just enough mustard on that one. Blackburn got a piece of it, but just enough mustard for that ball to roll back in over her shoulder. We're going to step away for a few minutes here, folks. So. Grab some coffee, grab some water, whatever you need, and we'll be back here in a couple minutes for the second half of this Liberty League women's lacrosse game here on the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome back, lacrosse fans, for some second half Liberty League women's lacrosse action here at East Campus Athletic Village Stadium, also known as ECAV, here in Troy, New York, on the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. We've got a 14-2 score here at the half. Engineers up uh, early and often over the Bard College Raptors. So we get ready to go here for the second half. Just do a quick whip around of the Liberty League action. Uh, Ithaca College, 7-0 in the Liberty League, up 14-1 on Vassar. Uh, across the way up in Skidmore at Wacom Field in Saratoga Springs. Thoroughbreds lead 5-4 over St. Lawrence and over in Schenectady, New York. Union College Garnet Chargers up over the Clarkson Golden Knights 8-6 as we've got some second half action coming up here with the Engineers starting up on offense. Engineers balance scoring across the sheet Four players with two goals in the first half. Ball will be swinging across the top here as Ava Gilderon will move it over to Quinn Wallard. Quinn now, hard righty drive looking to feed. Now back to her left, finds a feed to Kaylee Schaefer-Hood, and Schaefer-Hood will get us going here in the second half action with a goal of her own. 15 to two. Engineers extend their lead in the first minute of the second half. Coach Delano's team spreading the wealth. Playing some great team offense here so far today in Troy. As they look to secure their fourth Liberty League win of the season. As you see, great feed inside there, Schaefer Hood. Soaked the contact, took the extra step to move the goalie and put it low stick side. For her third goal on the day, that's a hat trick for Kaylee Schaefer Hood. The sophomore midfielder out of State College, PA. Ava Gilderon here on the draw, wins it out behind herself to Sabrina Tipping. Tipping controls that one, being hounded by Papalizio. Tipping to Cedroni. Cedroni out to the stadium side, sideline there. Spizzo handled that one up the field to Caitlin Kemp. Kemp, senior defender out of Marcellus, will step this one over as Embry looks to apply some pressure from behind. Kemp now to Schaefer Hood will retreat. She was looking for a quick feed to Kate McFeely. Kaylee thought better of it as the Bard player was right on the back. Silverman and X looking to feed inside here to some high to low cutters. Ball moved back up top to Quinn Wallard. Quinn, top of the 12 meter arc here, will throw back. Throws back inside. Nothing's there for Alana McCarthy. Ball now over. Kaylee will swing one high. A little too tough to handle there for McFeely. And that ball will go to Lexi Blackburn, the barred keeper. And the Raptors will look to clear this one as they get their first stop of the second half. Blackburn, a long clear into the middle of the field, finds Embry. Embry able to soak some pressure, swings it over to the stadium sideline. And we've got a pause in action here. Is got an engineer down on the collision. Players will take a knee as looks like that's Sophia Cedroni, sophomore defender slash midi out of Middletown, Maryland. She's able to get to her feet and walk off under her own power. Great sign of respect for all the players on the field there to take a knee while she was able to gather herself with our athletic training staff here at RPI. Bard will get, get the chance to still Clear this upfield, 76 seconds left on the shot clock as Embry will get the restart going, pushes upfield to Greg. Greg can't quite connect with Embry on that one. Kemp tipped it backwards to McFeely. McFeely wins it, pushes it over. Schaefer Hood now down the right side. Looks for McCarthy, McCarthy back to Kaylee Schaefer Hood. Kaylee moves it over to Quinn, Quinn. Deterred from driving there by Embry. Will now settle it back up to McFeely. McFeely and Kaylee working. 
set up a new setter play here as the engineers look to shift around, see if they can get some different options, some different space to dodge to feed or dodge to score. It's Waller 1v1 against Embry. Paige Gregg with the help. Waller now switching to a left hand, looking to find McFeely. Embry is able to come up with that 50-50 ground ball. And the Raptors will have this one. Looking to clear Embry. Long pass to Papalizio. Stick uh, to the sideline side where the team benches are. She'll dump it in. Ella Peru. Peru hounded in the middle of the field there. Great ride and redefend by this engineer's team. And that's going to be a green card coming up against Paige Gregg on the ride. Looking to slow down that engineer break. Got tacked by the official there for a little too physical play between the 30s, trying to get that ball back for the Raptors. Engineers will be up a player for the next minute here unless they score. So that ball will start with McCarthy. She'll move it to Spizzo. Spizzo heads it up to Silverman, and the engineers will equally be able to sub some players on and try to see if they can take advantage of the player up opportunity here. Silverman driving up from GLE looking to feed. Using that dominant right hand. Feed will come high to low. McFeely hits the pipe. McCarthy's able to gather that ball off off the ground to maintain possession. She'll feed it across. Silverman cutting, shoots and scores. She throws her stick a little too hard I think for her liking, but her teammates will celebrate as the, as the engineers will put up their 16th goal on the day. And Silverman will get her third on the day for a hat trick. Great cut from below left side of the crease there. He's able to meet that ball in the middle of the eight. Change pipes and sh score to the low stick side and then Women's lacrosse have to check the goal score stick after every goal. She threw that one, and I think she threw it a little too farther than she would have liked to. Nonetheless, still celebrating her hat trick on the day, her third goal, and the Engineers 16th as a team. Eva Gilderone, Quinn Wallard, and Sabrina Tipping working the draw unit here for this Engineers team. Got a violation against Bard. So this will be Engineer Ball. Gilderon will switch sticks, quickly scoop and push it upfield to Tipping. Tipping, the freshman defender, has been really impactful for this Engineers team. Not just only on the draw circle, but on the defensive end. Pushes this ball, and the Engineers offense will look to get organized. Silverman leading this attack for this en engineer's offense so far today. Her and Kaylee Schaeferhood with three goals each lead this RPI team. So far this afternoon, Gilderon got a nice pick. Got to the middle of the eight there, excuse me, the right side of the eight. Blackburn with a nice save, punched it low. Molly McDonald scooped it up though to retain possession for the engineers. That shot clock will reset to 60. The organization of the offense here is back in full speed as they look to see if they can find another opportunity. McFeely charging in, gets a nice back check there by the Bard College help defender. Rule was able to scoop that one up off the turf. And the Raptors get a great defensive stop and effort there. Looking to clear the ball though. McFeely wins it right back, feeding McCarthy in the middle, some contact. And that's gonna go against RPI. So Blackburn will restart with the ball here. Pushes it to the stadium side to Embry and the Raptors will look to see if they can clear this one into the offensive end. Embry able to navigate around Kemp. As to Tucker sticks, Kemp looking to fish for a back check. Peyton will settle this one in, working against Bethy Spizzo. Swings it through X to Papalizio. Papalizio, leading scorer on this season for this Bard College team. 14 goals, 18 assists for 32 points. 10 of those in the Liberty League added an assist to her tally earlier in the first half. She finds Embry. Embry the first year. 
Looking to see if she can find somebody on the pick and uh, the slip screen. Rule wasn't quite there. Pass didn't get quite through. Now we've got a 50-50 scrum. Papalizio comes out with the ground ball. 30 seconds or so on the shot clock here. So we'll look to swing it over to Embry. Embry to Rule. Rule over to Tucker. Raptors looking to see if they can find some magic here at, in the third quarter. Tucker draws a double. Embry couldn't quite corral that one. Peyton will pick it up under 10 seconds here on the shot clock. We're going to get a foul. Officials trying to sort through this. Caitlin Brissett hopping into net for the engineers. Looks like there'll be about one second on the possession slash shot clock for the Raptors. Peyton will have this ball below GLE. So this is going to be a quick change of possession unless the officials decide to add some more time back to the clock, which I believe they're signaling they would like to do. Hopping in net for the engineers. Number double zero, Caitlin Brissett, junior transfer from Endicott College. She'll get to see some action here in the second half. Looks like the officials were hoping to get a f reset of the shot clock there. It was at one second left. I believe they were looking to add a little bit more time back due to the foul on Spizzo. Clock ticking down here as they look to get it reset. About seven seconds will be what they decide here. As Peyton will have an opportunity to go to the net quickly. She does as she tries to wrap around. X looking to feed. She'll find Papalizio in the middle and she'll shoot and score. Peyton to Papalizio for the Raptors' third goal of the day. Founding some magic there late in the possession clock after the officials sorted it out. You see Peyton charging hard against Tipping. Gets her head up as she wraps around. And that pass was just over the top of the engineers' help defenders. Papalizio curling right off that fan. Beats Brissett low on a bouncer. 16 to three here, folks, as we're under five minutes left in the third quarter. Engineers with a 13 goal lead in this Liberty League women's lacrosse action. Across campus, we've got some great action happening over at Doris Robinson Field as the softball engineers are up six nothing on the visiting Rochester Institute of Technology Tigers. And over at Robson Field at Carl Steffen Ballpark, RPI men's baseball team up 2-0 over the Skidmore Thoroughbreds. Ball kicking around here off the draw. Scooped up by Ella Graff. Graff with a nice ground ball and draw control looks to push it up to the bench side. Finds streaking McFeely. McFeely finds Kaylee Schaefer Hood in the middle. Kaylee over to Quinn. Quinn settles this in. Both teams will look to see if they can get themselves settled into their offensive and defensive sets here. Molly McDonald streaking out of the box for the Engineers. Finds Ava Gilderone. Gilderone over to Kaylee. Kaylee Schaefer Hood being 1v1. Number eight against number eight. Feeds Gilderone. Gilderone turns, shoots, and scores! Didn't know what to do with the stick there. Was unsure of whether she should slam it, drop it or keep it on her. But she's got a tally to her name as the Engineers put their 17th on the board. Great heads up feed there. Kaylee Schaefer Hood drew the double. Found Gilderone. Gilderone caught that left handed, spun back away from the help defender and beat Blackburn. Low off stick side, excuse me, low stick side. Great shot opportunity there. Ava Gilderon, her first collegiate goal. Congrats, Ava. Ava 
Saliba, the freshman midi slash defender, will also take the next draw here. U.S. Lacrosse All-American as a junior in the state of Michigan. She put up 87 points, 69 goals, 18 assists as a junior. Once scored seven goals in a game. Congrats to Ava with her first collegiate goal in conference play nonetheless. And she wins the draw to herself, scoops that ball up off the carpet, finds Graf. Graf over into the middle to Kate McFeely. McFeely will now settle this ball back out to Quinn Wallard. Wallard swings it across the top. Ava 1v1 here. Switch it down low, high to low to McFeely, McFeely over to Audrey Silverman. Silverman looking to feed, didn't have it. Now she's looking to, to crease roll. Drew a defender back up top. Kaylee Schaefer-Hood feeds into the middle. McFeely couldn't quite connect on that one. Rule had the ball up off the carpet. Melly McDonald though on the redefense, swatted that one right out of the air. Gives it right back to the engineers. She'll carry from high to low now. Long looping run through X. Finds Quinn Wallard. Quinn. Over to Ava. Ava swings it now to Kate McFeely. Engineers looking to see if they can find some offense here. Off the great redefend caused turnover there by Molly McDonald. Silverman backing in using that vision and stick skill. Now high to low feed. McDonald found Schaefer Hood there. Blackburn got a piece of it for a nice save. Quinn with a great ground ball on the 50 50 opportunity. We'll get a reset here as the Engineers will have possession. Slides it inside there. Silverman was looking for McDonald. Ball got kicked loose. Another feed low to high. Frenetic pace here. Engineers looking to see if they can connect on one of these feeds into the middle of the eight. Couldn't quite find one until Silverman won a 50-50 ball and got fouled. Silverman, four goals to her name on the day. We'll take this one from the center hash. She pushes off, sends it to the low left side, scores! Alana McCarthy from Audrey Silverman off the free position line. Engineers with their 18th on the day. See Silverman heads up play, found Alana McCarthy streaking from the right side below GLE. She was able to beat Lexi Blackburn for the Engineers 18th goal on the day. Silverman now three goals, one assist on the day, four points connected with Alana McCarthy for her second goal of the day. She's got two goals, two assists to her name, four points in her tally as well. Total team effort here by the Engineers as we head into the fourth quarter, 18-3. They lead the Bard College Raptors here in Liberty League women's lacrosse action, folks, as we'll take a look at some goals here in the second half. Kaylee Schaefer-Hood, nice catch, soaks the contact and buries it off to the right side of the cage there. See the nylon tingling. Another feed into the middle of the eight and a nice curl. Great shot placement here again as you see that net ripple from Audrey Silverman. And then the Raptors get one back here. Maggie Payton driving through X, finds Papalizio as the two leading scorers for the Raptors capitalize. And then freshman Ava Gilderone, her first college goal, caught with the left, curled back to the right, stuck it. And then Alana McCarthy from Silverman off the free position. Both players getting their fourth point of the day in different ways. Got some great fourth quarter action coming up here, folks. Engineers looking to extend their win column to four Liberty League wins. They've got about 15 minutes left in this contest to do so. We'll take a whip around again here, getting some updates across Liberty League women's lacrosse action, heading into the fourth period down in Ithaca, New York. The Bombers have extended their lead over Vassar College, 17-3. Vassar will be coming up here tomorrow for that lacrosse out cancer game, 2 p.m. here at ECAF Stadium in Troy, New York. Encourage you all to come out and enjoy some spring lacrosse action here at ECAF Stadium. Up in Saratoga, New York, in a tight Liberty League battle that looks at some teams that are jockeying for position for those final spots in Liberty League tournament play. The Skidmore Thoroughbred up 
on the St. Lawrence Saints at home, 7-5. to five. And then over in Schenectady, New York, we got a tight one. The visiting Clarkson Golden Knights have knotted it up at 10 with about six minutes left in the in the third period against the visit or against the home Union College Garnet Chargers. Horn is sounding here, folks. We're back for some fourth quarter action. 15 minutes are left in this contest, standing in the way between. This RPI women's lacrosse team's fourth Liberty League win of the season. Engineers are being led so far with some balanced scoring across the board. Kaylee Schaefer, Hood, three goals and one assist. Quinn Waller, two goals, two assists. Audrey Silverman, three goals, one assist. And Alana McCarthy, two goals, two assists. Four different players with four points each getting it done. Total team balanced effort on the attack for the Engineers. It's like Maggie Payton will be setting to do battle on the draw here. For Bard. Paige, Greg, and Ember will be working with her. As that was Audrey Silverman and Ella Graff and Quinn Wallard. Silverman swung that one back. Graff picked up the draw control, sent it up to Wallard. Wallard now will move it to Schaefer Hood, who's Moving through X, looking to feed. Silverman now at the top of the 12, getting everybody a touch on this RPI attack unit. These guys have cleared a little bit here in the second half as the rain's moved out a little bit. Engineers patient with the ball right now. Gilderone, lefty, looking to feed. McDonald was able to secure that one as that feed kind of skipped through a couple different sticks and legs. About 30 seconds left here in the shot. Possession clock as the engineers move the ball through. X. Schaefer Hood directing traffic. will send this one over. Silverman on the right side now looking to feed across. Working 1v1 against Paige, Greg. Wallard with an opportunity. She's going to step in. 1v1 against Embry. Doesn't have it, but is able to find McDonald. McDonald gets that one bumped out by Gwyn Downey. Good defense there by the Raptors. Feed into the middle. Shot score! Quinn Wallard! Officials quick with the signal. We'll look to check the stick, but I believe Quinn Wallard will have her Third goal on the day. She nets a hat trick here in the fourth quarter. Engineers lead 19 to 3. As I mentioned, folks, please come out to uh, Liberty League double header action with this game tonight and tomorrow. Please come on out, head on up to ECAP Stadium here in Troy, New York for their lacrosse out cancer game against Vassar College. First 100 fans will be treated to some Ben and Jerry's, which is giving away some free scoops of ice cream. So if you're in the area or heading through, stop by for some Ben and Jerry's and some Liberty League lacrosse action here at ECAV Stadium. Draw will get going here again as Silverman pushes this one out against Peyton. He's able to secure that draw control. Nice job working with Quinn Wallard on the 2v1 ground ball there. Silverman's able to come up with it. Ball shifting across the top. Of the 12 meter arc and through X here, Schaefer Hood will kind of carry this one from behind, looking to feed again into the middle of this 8 meter arc. Silverman, 1v1 against Greg off the elbow. She's able to deter Autry from having any space to drive there. All moving through now, Kate McFeely. McFeely sends it low. Schaefer Hood looking to feed for some draw and dumps. Great defense there by Peck. Wallard steps in, no, no shooting space. She'll look to feed, and that one almost snuck through. Bounced off a couple different players into the crease, though, and Blackburn will corral it, looking to clear. Lexi Blackburn, 111 saves on the season. A couple more here today. She gets up above her 30, sends a long outlet over a couple different players' heads here. Spizzo 
Graf with the first to it. So the engineers will be able to work this one through. Brissett who moves it to the bench side of the, of the field. They're able to headman the ball up the field here. Engineers will look to settle in on offense. Nineteen to three, about ten forty-five left here in the contest. Nice little flip pass there. Silverman to Wallard. Two Pennsylvania natives. Stuff in the stat sheet so far here today for this engineers offense. Silverman, three goals, one assist. Quinn Wallard, three goals, two assists. Part of this young, talented offensive group for the engineers. McDonald couldn't quite handle the pass on the crease, but that's going to be a foul on the feed against Rule. So McDonald will, and this engineers team will retain possession. About Ten minutes left here in the contest. McDonald's going to be on the hanging hash. About 32 seconds left on the possession clock. She'll feed across the middle. Hits the pipe, does McCarthy. Shot clock will reset to 60 seconds. Great feed and shooting opportunity across the crease there. Engineers weren't quite able to stick it, but they'll maintain possession. Looking to see if they can find their 20th goal on the day. Silverman quarterbacking this offense through X. Finds McDonald up top over to Gilderone. Ava, her first collegiate goal a couple minutes ago. We'll move it low to McCarthy. Milano. Over to Kaylee Schaeferhood. Kaylee driving, feeding, looks for McFeely, not able to connect, and Embry will come out of the middle of that for the Raptors. Immediately swarmed by some black jerseys. They'll get a restart below the 30, so there will not be a green card call. Embry a little upset there, a little too tall of a pass. Raptors will turn that ball right back over. McCarthy working with Silverman on the left side will now move it to McFeely at X. Cut low across the crease. McFeely will decide to send it up top to Silverman. Silverman 1v1 against Papalizio. Silverman looking to draw some contact, find some open space. She feeds into McDonald. McDonald switches hands and scores. Silverman to McDonald. And the Engineers get their 20th of the game. Silverman will get herself on to the board with her fifth point of the day as McDonald catches, went right to left on the last two. This one's left to right. Great help defense there, trail defense by Morgan Rule, but McDonald's able to take an extra step around her, beats Blackburn low. Engineer lead extended to 17. With that goal, Molly McDonald collects her hat trick with about 7.30 left here in the fourth quarter. A couple multi-point days from some different players for this engineers team so far here today. 20 to three. Ticking late into the fourth quarter here, Greg Silverman at the draw line. Silverman will win it back to herself, scoops it right out of the air. Greg deterring her, trying to run her towards that sideline. He's able to do it and slow her down. Officials will say that's a bit of a trip though. Restart for Silverman. Engineers looking to move this ball across the top. Across campus, the Women's softball team has extended their lead in the bottom of the eighth, eight nothing. Against RIT over at Doris Robson Field. A lot of great action happening this weekend here on RPI's campus. Come on out for some engineers athletics. Gilderum cuts across the top, just a bit wide. 
Freshman looking for her second collegiate goal. Nice feed into the middle. Schaefer Hood gets that checked out. And Blackburn will scoop that one up, looking to push it up ahead. She does, finds Papalizio. Izzy streaking up the left sideline here towards the stadium, seeing if she can find some open space. Draws it back to Peyton. Peyton pumping against Spizzo, looking to see if she can get her hands free. Retreats back out. Great job closing the gap there was Bethy Spizzo. Raptors had a fast break opportunity. Engineers closely, closely, uh, quickly close the gap though. They'll look to settle this in, see if they can find an opportunity to notch their fourth goal of the day. Abelizio on the right side, looking to feed across right to left. Decides to dump it to Gloria Tucker. Local Albany product being defended very closely by the senior defender, Caitlin Kemp out of Marcellus. Kemp pressuring Tucker all the way out past the 12 meter arc here. Tucker left-handed sweeping across the top, rolls back to her right, looking to see if she can find some space, doesn't. Ball back to Peyton. Peyton will work with Izzy here, trying to find the two-man game. She looks, feeds to the middle, shot, score for the Raptors. They notch their fourth of the day. Izzy Papalizio feeding the middle there, found Ella Peru, first year midi defender out of White River Valley High School in Vermont. And the Raptors will notch another one. As you see Papalizio, leading feeder of this offense, finds Peru, is able to corral that one over the top of Kate McFeely. And then just able to slide that one past the goalie Brissett, low stick side. Bard's fourth goal on the day. Under five minutes left here. Raptors, or excuse me, Engineers lead is at 16. Raptors have four goals on the day. Engineers 20. So we look to close out action here at ECAV Stadium. Paige Gregg, Audrey Silverman toe to toe here. Getting ready for the next draw opportunity. That one's up in the air. Silverman Greg going 1v1. Silverman will get the call, get the ball. Pushes on up ahead to Ava Gilderone. Ava looking to feed, settling in. Swing it through X. Cat Kama down on offense here. Move it back up to Silverman. Silverman feeds inside to Kama. Kama gets that ball checked out of her stick by Paige Gregg. That's going to be a check into the sphere, stick into the sphere. Kat Kama, junior defender, defensive midfielder here. Opportunity in the middle of the center hash here. Charges in. Blackburn stuffs her. And that's going to be a crease violation against the Engineers. Blackburn equal to the task there on Kama's free position shot. Notches another save for her. And the Raptors will look to clear, clear here as we're under th three minutes left here in the contest. Oh, he swung to the right side. Can't quite handle. Blackburn's retreating. McFeely shoots just wide. Kate McFeely gives a little bit of a shrug. Had Blackburn retreating out of her net. Thought she had an opportunity to beat the goalie before she got set. Just couldn't quite put it on frame there. 2.06 left. We'll get a quick timeout here, folks. RPI up 20 to 4 here in some Liberty League lacrosse action on the restart. It'll be Bard's ball. About a couple yards below GLE here. Raptors looking to see if they can clear it to the other end, see if they can shorten this lead, get a couple more tallies on the board for some of their players. Reminder to come out tomorrow, 2 p.m., our PI women's lacrosse action against Vassar College. Lacrosse out cancer game. Team would appreciate your help, and the first 100 fans will get some Ben and Jerry's as they're giving away free scoops of ice cream to the first 100 fans that come up to ECAV tomorrow. 
Cross Out Cancer game is in special honor of Team Impact roster member and member of this RPI women's lacrosse team, Kaylee. Purpose of Lacrosse Out Cancer is to support the Pediatric Research Founda Cancer Research Foundation. They've joined forces with this RPI Women's Lacrosse program to complete 47 100-yard sprints in honor of the 47 children who are diagnosed each day with cancer in the U.S. The team is on a mission to help the Pediatric Cancer Research Foundation by raising over $1,200. That comes down to about 47 athletes per, per athlete on the roster. Please check out the RPI Women's Lacrosse Instagram, R-P-I-W-A-L-X, for some more information about that. And if you're up here on campus tomorrow or surfing through the RPI Athletics website or social media, there should be a QR code cir circulating at the bottom of those flyers here in person as well as online on some of those posts for the ability to help support them in their effort to donate back in lacrosse out cancer. Vassar will be coming up on the heels of a loss that was just made final down in Ithaca. Ithaca moves to 8-0 in the Liberty League on the on the women's lacrosse standings as Vassar drops to 2-6 and six in the conference and will head up here tomorrow at 2 p.m. for that lacrosse out cancer game. Paige Gregg will have the ball here on the restart about a yard or two below GLE for the Raptors. 2.06 left here in this contest. Engineers looking to see if they can extend their win column standings to four and three in the Liberty League, about two minutes away from doing so. That would get them to about five and six on the season overall. Greg through the middle finds Papalizio. Papalizio working through traffic in the middle of the field here. Sends it back on over. Rolls stepping it over through pressure will get the successful clear. Great defense here on her by Royal Lewis. Lewis, the senior attacker out of Loudonville, New York here. Local Shaker High School product getting some chance to run some defense. Greg and Tucker working up top as we're under 90 seconds left here in the game. Ella Graff, attacker, playing some defense as well. Deters Tucker from driving in at the center. Ball swinging through to Jamison at X. She couldn't quite get that one into her cross. And Riley Eldridge will get this ball on the restart. Eldridge to Brissett. 60 seconds left here in the contest, folks. Brissett's going to take her time. Long pass to the stadium sign of the field. Finds Spizzo. Spizzo running past Maggie Payton into the offensive end here. Spizzo, nice hitch and go. Works back to her left. Soaks some contact. And the official's going to give Bethy Spizzo second inside hash from the right elbow, an opportunity off the free position mark here. Spizzo, no stranger to scoring. She's got some points in her tally. Has an assist early in the season. Can't quite connect on that one. As we tick below 15 seconds here at ECAV Stadium, Engineers working the ball around. Donald to Kat Kama. Kama into the corner, and the time will expire on the clock, and the Engineers will secure their fifth win of the season, their fourth in the Liberty League. Very important win here as they head into the last two weeks of the regular season and jockey for an opportunity to play in postseason action. 20-4. Engineers over Raptors here in Liberty League Women's Lacrosse action. Take a look at some highlight goals on the day. Kaylee Schaefer Hood getting the getting the party started there. Nice catch, curl, finish opportunity. She was able to tally three goals and one assist on the day. As you see, Audrey Silverman with another catch, curl, and finish opportunity. Silverman. One of the leading scorers for this Engineers team today. Three goals, two assists. On the opposite side, Bard College led by Maggie Payton. Two goals and one assist. Beautiful feed here to Izzy Papalizio, who also had a goal and two assists. Ava Gilderon, her first collegiate goal with a nice catch, turn, curl, and buried an opportunity. And then Silverman to McCarthy off the line. 
Great team effort here as Quinn Wallard, her, one of her three goals on the day. Three goals, two assists for the sophomore attacker out of P PA. And then Silverman to McDonald. McDonald's hat trick capped off by Silverman's second assist on the day. Multiple players with four and five points on the day. As you see, Papalizio's second assist connecting for Bard's fourth goal of the day. Some great highlights, folks. Please come on out tomorrow. RPI hosting Vassar College for the lacrosse out cancer game, 2 p.m. We'll be back here on RPI.TV on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much to the RPI TV staff. Appreciate you tuning in. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.